Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and today I've got two stamp sets, two brand new stamp sets from Spellbinders. So they've sent me these to have a little look at and I'm going to make a video using the Flower Market and the Flower Shower. But these are actually from a set of four which I'll link down below and you might like to have a little look at some of the others as well. But they're very very pretty. House Mouse is always a very very favourite and very popular design and this one has a little baby mouse and some spring flowers there and this one then obviously has lots of little flowers blowing off and I think I'm going to really enjoy using those so if you think you're going to enjoy this video and this type of video don't forget to subscribe to my channel that doesn't cost you anything but it does actually mean a lot to me it will help my channel along a bit and if you enjoy it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment but you can also hit the notification bell and that will keep you up to date and then you'll not miss any of them also, my affiliate links for everything I use will be down below in the description of the video, so you could check that out too. And I always appreciate everybody who uses those because I get a little commission on it, but it doesn't cost you anything extra at all. So, back to the stamps here. Uh, let's see which one we'll look at first off. So, it's flower, flower Shower, as uh, you might say, but I say it's slightly different in Northern Ireland, but that's how you'll understand it. We've got this beautiful big stamp with all that gorgeous detail, which you'll see better whenever I stamp it and show it to you more closely just look at that how cute is that and then we've got happy spring enjoy the little things and showering you with love now if you have seen my video that i posted yesterday with some beautiful uh, die cutting i actually used one of the stamps from this one and I, I used enjoy the little things on that and then if we have a little look at this one this is the flower market and that's another cling rubber stamp so I've used them in a stamp press, uh, but you can use them whichever way you like. And how cute is that? Look at the little baby mice here and then gorgeous flowers and lots of grass and foliage. Beautiful things to colour. And I've used both of these stamps actually yesterday as well. So they don't necessarily have to be used just with these stamps here. So I am just going to get stamping and get colouring and enjoy myself. And I hope you enjoy watching too. Thank you. I've stamped that out now and the detail is absolutely amazing on it. So I've taken some Tonic Nouveau um, colour pencils here. These are classic colour pencils. And the first one I've lifted is a grey one from the Elementary Midtones. And I'm just going to colour in this little mouse here. I've got a few different boxes here. So I've got the dark shadows and I've also got the hair and skin tones as well. So I'm just going to be coming back and forwards through different pencils as I see what I think would suit these little mice. So this one obviously has the dark around the outside and then lighter in the middle. And you can watch along as I colour in some more of that. it all coloured and then I just put a little mat of pink card to tone in with the little flowers uh, between the white and the white card as well and you know that was surprisingly easy and very very therapeutic to colour your best friend is going to be this <laughs> just keep the points of your pencils nice and sharp and then you can add some shading with deeper colours in some of the areas there that actually I might just add a little bit more around the outside of this but isn't that really really beautiful and now I'm going to have a little look at the other one. Now I've stamped this one out and look at all the beautiful detail on there as well. And I actually put the showering you with love up at the top there because I would never trust myself to stamp that after I had this coloured. So if that doesn't come out right the first time, I would have to restamp the whole thing. 
um, rather than go to the end and then trust myself to add that on. Other than that, I would actually add that on on a little piece of extra card on top of that. Maybe up in 3D foam pads or something just to keep it looking like it was supposed to be that way. <laughs> so now I'm going to make sure my pencils are sharp again because I really need fine, fine green for those little stems there. And then I'll go ahead and colour the rest of this little image in. I added some blue around the outside of the image there just to give it a little bit of definition because I didn't want to colour the whole background. I wanted to leave some white there. And now I'm going to put a mat on behind that and add it onto a card front. So I'm going to have a little look first and see whether I think maybe blue or even this purpley colour would look best. I used the purple because I thought it just looked a bit better there. It's like a dark maroon and it blended in really, really nicely with that. And that's the second card made. Now, those don't really take long to make at all and the colouring is very, very enjoyable. So I hope you've enjoyed it too. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And don't forget to check out my affiliate links and the little links that I'll have down below to the other two stamps in this collection as well because I think you're going to really like those too. Thank you very, very much for watching and don't forget if you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell, I'd really love you to do that. If you've enjoyed it, give me a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment. And I'll be back very soon with more videos. In the meantime, happy crafting. Bye bye.